Hey guys, welcome back to another scrap mechanic video, and today I'm here with Technologic Nick. Hello. And uh, we're gonna try a challenge mode inside creative mode. So that opens a lot of possibilities because we unlocked this thing, we hacked it. Look, we can open the GUI and crash the game. We can alter a lot of options. We can even allow or disallow mods. It's a bit janky at the moment, but it works. And um, yeah, so let's do a quick race and then we'll go over all the options and even extra extensions because you can do multiple races at once even using um, some cool tricks. So we'll go over that in a second, but just let's let's do a quick race. Right, who's gonna win? What do you think? Post it down in the comments below. Do we start? Yes, go, go, go! <laughs> oh, holy shit! Uh, there's no way of controlling this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! No. I made it. It crashed already. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere in the beneath the mountain. Ah, oh, come on! Now we won't uh, see the thing where it shows multiple messages <laughs> of like he won and he won and he won. Also, the flag disappears now as soon as the first guy enters it. The second guy won't be able to see the flag, but he can still finish. No. Nah. <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Do you need oh. a decent vehicle? Uh, oh, okay, I, I teleported across the map, okay. Wait, where are you? <laughs> I don't know. Wait, what the? Oh, there you are. Oh, 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 it's gonna make it. <laughs> That's one way to do it. Hey, one minute 27. Hey. Right, nice. <laughs> I, I totally didn't finish the race with a different vehicle. <laughs> 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 yeah, so lift placement was allowed, which is how he was able to spawn a different vehicle. And um, yeah, let's let's go quickly over all the options that we have. So let's quickly build a star platform here. Let's paint it white so that it's the same color as this one. Um, because this needs to be the same as the end platform. And you can do some tricks with that. If you have like a black and a white star platform, you can have two races at once. So you make this black. And over here, also black. And if you start over there with some vehicle. Right, so when we exit this one, you won't see on the screen that challenge has started, or did you? I didn't. Right? And now when you exit the, the thing, you'll see that. Yeah, it's a challenge started for me. Alright. So now when I enter my platform, I can finish the game, but I cannot finish the game on the white platform. And now when you enter the white one, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's still going for me. <laughs> Is it now? No. Not. Uh, still not. Is it, is it flashing on the top? No, it's still counting. Wait, what? what? Maybe it's because uh, I put it on the... The, the buff top is in the seats, maybe that's why. Mm, shouldn't matter. Hmm. You were able to... <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <laughs> You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? <laughs> no, I'm really not. <laughs> Alright. Yay. Now it finished. So apparently I cannot put um, him on the lift inside of it, because then the trigger doesn't happen. 
Um, can, can see that as a, as a countermeasure for cheating. Um, now, when you want to get rid of that flashing annoying thing on the top, you need to reset the challenge. So the starter platform has a button hooked up to it and now it stops the challenge. Now for him it's still counting so you need to stop it for him too. So uh, now you shouldn't be able to... No, it's stopped. Alright. Now, the extra options. As you can see we have a lot of stuff here. Um, let's go over the first... Well, not first, but whatever, the lift placement. We... If we disallow lift placement and we start the challenge, we can go outside the area and I can't place a lift. And neither can Nick because he was inside the area. No, I can't. Now when we reset the thing again, and he's not inside the area, and we start it, he's not part of the challenge now. So he can still place the lift as he wishes. He can even lift my V. No, he can't v lift my vehicle. Because no. this vehicle is now part of the challenge. We then also have lifting stuff. So when you do allow lift placement, but you don't allow lifting stuff, we can't lift this vehicle or anything that is affected by the setting. So when we create and well, if we do create a new vehicle, we can still lift it and it's not affected because, well, it's not part of the challenge. But if we do allow lifting stuff and we exit the area, oops, <laughs> I got it. <laughs> oh, nice. Them skills. As you can see, we can lift it then. Painting stuff. Have you tried painting it when the, the thing was started? No. So if we try painting it, you'll see we can't paint it. We can't paint this even. We can't paint this. We can't paint anything that is affected by the challenge. And what is all affected by the challenge? We can see that here, first line. The whole world is affected. But if we do only challenge course plus vehicles, and we have um, a vehicle over here, which is not inside the starting box, and which is not statically attached to this thing, and we start the challenge, then we'll see that we can still lift it, paint it, and do whatever we want. This is not part of the challenge. So this way you can like, have friends that are on the border of the world and creating some weird contraptions. Like uh, Nick, maybe he's, he's, he's like experimenting with stuff. Hmm. Like explosions and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and then he can still go on with his, his, his neat little things. But if we do affect the whole world and we don't allow placement of, of lift, well that doesn't really matter. If we don't allow painting stuff, placing on blocks and erasing blocks and all that stuff. And that. Oh, uh, explosives were still on. So oh. we also have a thing, destructible blocks. And if we put that on, and he tries to destroy that, it won't work. No. Neat. Yeah, that one is, is newly placed. That's not part of the challenge. <laughs> it almost pushed me off. <laughs> <laughs> Again. <laughs> so there's also placing on blocks and erasing blocks. So as you can see, I cannot place extra stuff on this. And I can delete it. Everything that is part of the challenge. Now, um, we don't have options to limit players from building on the, on the world itself or destroying blocks that are newly built. Um, you can blame the developers for that, we don't have options for that yet. Then we have height connections, which you probably already saw when the challenge started. The connections are not visible and you cannot. Oh, hide connections was not on. So if we want to hide connections, we set this to true or yes or whatever really and then we 
can't see connections. Except for parts that we just placed, of course. Then we have the show timer. Have you been like, oh, it's so annoying that we can see the timer on the top. Well, you can turn it off. Now it just says challenge started. You don't know how long it takes. It just says challenge started. And yeah, you'll have to finish the thing to see how long it took to get there. Then we also can disallow modded blocks. Now, the challenge pack itself also belongs to modded blocks. So if we have, for example, this bot over here, which is judging us, and we don't allow modded blocks, he'll get destroyed. So be careful. If you load a modded vehicle and you don't allow mods, your vehicle will fall apart. Yes. So Nick, no cheating. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> and then we can also disallow the menu during the game for players that want to cheat a little bit and change the, 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 the settings while playing. Well, you can disallow that. So, yeah, we can't interact with it anymore because the game is still loaded. But if we do yes and we start the game, we can still interact. Can you also change the settings while the challenge is active? Yes. For example, you set lift placement to no, you don't want lift placement. And you started the challenge and now you're like, oh crap. Uh, I don't have a finish and I, I can't can't do stuff and, and I can't reset the challenge. Well, then you can just set lift placement to true over here and then you can't start set the lift thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fix that. So uh, yeah, th th that's a fix I'm going to do after this video so you can still place your lift then if the setting changed. All right, so we can't finish in the black area if we start in the white one. This allows for some neat little tricks that you can do with uh, multiplayer. So, allows for more stuff than the actual challenge mode. And I look forward to seeing what you guys can build with it. And if you have any suggestions for what we can do with this or uh, other stuff, then feel free to post it down in the comments below. And if you want to hear Nick talk a lot more, then also be feel free to let me know <laughs> in the comments down below. Uh, <laughs> Don't forget to glitch the hell out of that like button. And see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Bye-bye.